Hey there, today I want to talk about the Sudachi emulator one of the most impressive emulators we've seen so far. It runs more games, feels smoother than most others, and gave us a really solid experience overall. But here's the thing, development for Sudachi has now been discontinued. The developer had to step away from the project due to a busy schedule. Even so, Sudachi remains a great emulator that many gamers still enjoy today. So let's take a look back and see why this one stood out from the rest. Demon Slayer, the Hinokami Chronicles 2 is back with even more action, drama, and stylish anime battles. This sequel expands the story, introducing new characters, arcs, and intense boss fights straight from the anime. Visually, it's stunning, with faithful animation, that feels like you're watching the show in motion. The combat is fast, fluid, and easy to pick up, or go head-to-head -head in online multiplayer. But still rewarding when you master each character. You can fight solo, take on the story mode, new mechanics, like tag team combos and enhanced abilities. Keep battles fresh and exciting. If you're a fan of the anime or just love flashy arena fighters, this is definitely one to check out. It runs well on supported emulators, but make sure to tweak the settings for smooth performance. Overall, it's a solid sequel, faithful to the source, fun to play, and packed with Demon Slayer energy. Azure Striker Gunvolt Trilogy Enhanced brings together three high-speed 2D action games in one complete package. If you're a fan of games like Mega Man Zero or classic pixel shooters, this one's definitely for you. Each title in the trilogy features tight controls, flashy skills, and anime-inspired storytelling. You'll play as Gunvolt, a super-powered soldier who uses lightning-fast attacks to take down enemies in style. The enhanced version adds better visuals, smoother performance, and refined mechanics. Each boss fight feels intense, with patterns to dodge and flashy special moves to unleash. There's also a deep upgrade system, letting you customize your playstyle as you progress. If you're playing this on emulator, expect solid performance on most mid to high end phones. Overall, it's a fast, flashy, and fun trilogy, perfect for fans of stylish action platformers. Meg's Monster is a unique indie RPG with heart. You play as Roy, a strong monster in the underworld who finds a lost human child named Meg. But if Meg cries, the world ends. So you're not just fighting, you're protecting her, no matter what. The gameplay is turn-based, simple but smart. The pixel art is clean, and the story hits way harder than you'd expect. Funny, emotional, and surprisingly deep for such a short game. If you're into story-rich RPGs, this one's worth checking out. Groove Coaster Future Performers is a rhythm game that hits different. With flashy visuals, pulse-bounding tracks, and simple one-touch controls, it's easy to jump into, but hard to master. You follow a line through psychedelic stages, tapping and sliding to the beat. It's fast, stylish, and incredibly satisfying when you hit those perfect combos. There's a wide variety of music, from J-pop to EDM, and even original tracks. If you love rhythm games with personality and visual flair, this one's a banger. Shinobi, Art of Vengeance is a fast-paced ninja action game with brutal combat and stealth mechanics. You play as a silent warrior on a path of revenge, slicing through enemies with deadly precision. The combat is fluid and satisfying, combining swordplay, throwing weapons, and quick dodges. Levels are designed for both action and stealth, letting you choose your approach. The visuals are dark and stylish, matching the serious tone of the story. If you're into classic ninja games with a modern edge, Shinobi, Art of Vengeance is worth checking out.
The SCP Foundation universe is a deep and mysterious world of horror and science fiction. It's built around classified files, strange creatures, and experiments hidden from the public eye. Each SCP tells a different story, some are creepy, some are disturbing, and some are straight up mind-bending. There are no cheap jump scares here, just eerie atmosphere and unsettling lore. If you're into dark mysteries and weird science, this universe is something you should definitely explore. Day of the Shell drops you into a bleak world, where survival depends on instinct and timing. It's a retro-style action game with eerie visuals, strange enemies, and a haunting atmosphere. Combat feels raw and risky, one mistake, and it's over. There's minimal hand-holding, which adds to the tension. If you enjoy brutal challenges and mysterious post-apocalyptic vibes, this game is worth a shot. No Sleep for Kanami Date takes you into a twisted world of dreams, secrets, and murder. You play as Date, a special agent who dives into people's subconscious to solve crimes. It's part puzzle, part visual novel, and 100% mind-bending. Each dream is surreal, with bizarre logic and hidden clues. If you love detective stories with emotional depth and sci-fi twists, this game will hook you hard. I hope you like my update, don't forget to like the video, and consider subscribing for more emulator tested games like this. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.